Halloween is just around the corner and that could only mean one thing. You're about to see an awful lot of these pumpkins. But uh, don't settle for the uh, ordinary this year. Here to help you create a show-stopping spooky carving is uh, is David Finkel, and uh, and David holds the uh, the record for the fastest pumpkin ever carved, twenty point three seconds. Oh. Holds the record for the most pumpkins carved in sixty minutes, one hundred and two pumpkins. Oh so you gosh. know your pumpkins. I've done a few. <laughs> yeah. Pumpkin Dave. <laughs> Hi. Pumpkin Dave. So we should say if you're going to put one of these in the wheel window. Or on your doorstep, you will get trick or treaters because as soon as you put one out there, it's like your game. So That's you have it. to remember that. Otherwise, you have to sort of hide them inside. Um, I find this a complete nightmare. I find it really difficult to do because mm. the kids are desperate to do it, but it's not. To me, it doesn't seem the easiest. OK, well, today we can break this down into nice, simple stages that will guarantee people get the best pumpkin in the street. The thing okay. is that, that everybody wants to have a great carved pumpkin or a funny one or whatever. We've, we've got some of yours in just a moment, but... Um, but there are pumpkin carving kits now which make the job a lot easier and they're not that right. expensive. I mean, these little knives that I use here, they are just out of a standard carving kit that you can get for less than a pound on the high street. Right, OK. And obviously the tools can progress into, you know, more robust, more technical tools for those people that really want to go, you know, go to town on it. Mm. And the very best carving kits on the market, they're no more than £15 now. Right. And... That's a small price to pay for your children having safe fun. So it might be worth investing in that and you can keep it for all the years to come once you've got that's it. That's right, yours. that's absolutely it. Nobody should be using the dreaded kitchen knives, put it that way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so just explain to us, because you've got some simple ways uh, to start and hollowing it out in the first place. So what would surprise a lot of people is I never cut the lid off of the top. Why? Because when you actually put the candle inside, effectively it's cooking the pumpkin, so the lid shrinks and they collapse and just crumble. So I actually carve a hole out <gasps> of the bottom. Oh, it's clever stuff, that. <laughs> really? But doesn't the candle just burn the top of the pumpkin inside? No, because there's so much moisture in there. Actually, all, all that happens is the moisture just slowly evaporates. So, actually, oh. the, structurally, it stays sound all evening. But if you place your candle on the table and then put the pumpkin straight on top of it, nobody's burning themselves when they're trying to get a lit candle in there or, yeah, you really know, the clever. dreaded... But you That's don't have to have a real candle. I mean, no. you can have the little, the little battery ones. That's you? right. Now, these are on the market. These are small little battery LED tea lights and they're very, very effective. Just and two or flicker. three of those. And they're, they're great. Why yeah, use a real really? candle when you've got these? And yeah. they're so cheap. OK, so you carve out the bottom and then you've got to scoop out all the bit inside. That's right. So uh, with the tools that you oh, can get now, done. these tools are great. So what you've got to make sure you do is really hold tight on your pumpkin. But this is where you have to really be vigorous with bit. what you're doing. The kids love I it. I hate this bit. <laughs> yeah, when you've got three of... Well, I know you've done 120 in. <laughs> but you can see... <laughs> when you have to do I three... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't got time to do 100. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see how good the tools are that are made yeah. for the job. They're great. And how much of the innards do you have to get out? Just the soft bit? Or do you have to scoop out some of this hard bit as well? I take out some of the hard bit you inside. Do. So what you're trying to achieve is a pumpkin that is absolutely pristine inside oh, like yeah, that. that is a good because one. by doing that, when you take all the insides out, it actually means it will glow brighter at night. Oh. Makes it a lot easier to carve as well. OK, so next challenge, carving it. Yes, so um, a real nice simple way for people is now there are thousands of templates that you can download online. Yeah. And if you just pin it onto the front of the pumpkin, just simply with your drawing pins, and then with your carving kits, there are these really good little tools that just have a little point on the end. And all you simply do is just punch a little holes through the template. Oh, and why, do, why does that help? What it actually does, it leaves... Now, if you look on your pumpkins, you'll see... Oh, like a dot to dot. That's it. Oh, so yeah! You've now created your pattern, and the next job is to actually carve by just joining dot to dot. Oh, that's clever. We'll, that is um, clever. We'll put, uh, we'll put a couple of... Our art department can uh, put together some stencils if you... Oh, you've started. Go well, I couldn't it. not. I got bit. I got bit. <laughs> um, so, if, yeah, if you want, that, they're on the app. Oh, they will be a little bit later because we've only just had the idea. When it comes to actually choosing the pumpkins, people spend hours looking around trying to find the perfect trying to find pumpkin. the perfect pumpkin. But actually, it doesn't matter. It's at night. You can't see the pumpkin. You can only see the actual face that you've carved. Ah, okay, fair enough. Now, what I try to do is, when I've chosen my design, I try and find a pumpkin that echoes the shape of the design as well. So it actually means it's easier to carve and hold uh, onto the oh, pumpkin. Uh, Aren't they mostly the same sort of shape? No, 
no. Some of them are taller, some of them You've are... You've got tall, wide ones, and then you can also get the smaller, traditional ones. Mm. And the small, traditional ones allow for a great big smiley face in them. Um, but if you want to go for, you know, big, extravagant carvings... Am I like, cutting out the wrong... Yeah. Oh, no, that is right. See, this is this is the problem. This is what scares me, cos I feel like it's just going to go... <laughs> and just. So the best technique with your saws, can a you... lot of people, oh. what they'll do is they'll actually start, you know, trying to That's do great big cuts. Exactly. If you imagine, like, a little jigsaw machine, tiny, oh. small little scissor actions, and that will actually allow what? the knife to follow the design. But you oh, really have to have a I firm grip. To do. <laughs> firm grip. On? But children now, it's it's wonderful because pumpkins, it just it oh. celebrates Halloween these days. Everybody wants to do amazing carving. If you chop the wrong bit off, like when you go around the teeth and you end up doing that, and nine times out of ten, four of the teeth are going missing, and I know you can then say <laughs> that's part of your design. Can you stick it back on? Because I've been there with cocktail sticks, trying mm. to like I've been doing surgery on these pumpkins, <laughs> trying to put bits back in. Um, unfortunately, no, you can't. Once you've right, ruined once it, that's it, it's gone. And how long will a pumpkin last? Right, here's a really good tip. You can carve the pumpkin two or three days before <gasps> Halloween, but when you've carved it, just drop it into a bucket of cold water and it preserves the pumpkin. And keeps really? It fresh. Yeah. So you, you know, can get them to last for a few I've days. I've got a painted sort of wooden sideboard bit and I've left the pumpkins on there and the acid or whatever it was it took all the paint mm. off the top of the. No. <laughs> it did. It did. <laughs> wow. How do you get that out now? I've gone all the way around and it's right, not popped okay. out. So, um, but you can just put the hand inside there. Oh, yeah. You take that out. Pen that pole. way. There you go. I'll cut that out. I'll tell you what, Phil, that's a good job. Well, I, I don't think I'll have time to finish it, but there we go. <laughs> That's uh, that's about. I mean, I've got the begin. Oh, oh, you're dropped the beginnings, out. Uh, the beginnings of me ghost. Oh, well, no, we've got, we got a minute left. This is the hard <laughs> bit. This is the hard bit because now this is um, this is what do you call it? It's not stable now because of that big bit I've just taken out, and I feel like it's going to rip. That's why I'm holding it. Look, hold it like that. Where? Holes. Hold it like that. Will if... you come to mine this afternoon and do the game? All right. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'm nearly there. But a really big trend that's taken off now for half term is brilliant. There are small pumpkin farms and pumpkin patches that are popping up all over the country. And it's great fun to be able to take the children out to those sorts of places. And you go and pick your own pumpkin yeah, and then pick you your own pumpkin. start to carve it. It's, it's wonderful. What and do you think of people that paint their pumpkins? Is that now, like... that's something that's really good. I've seen some amazing paintings done on their pumpkins. Um, <laughs> I did have a bit of fun with one last year. I drilled loads of little tiny holes and I used um, a set of Christmas lights. I think I've done it. Look at that, we've both done them. Brilliant job, look at that. That's it, that'll go straight to school. <laughs> well, you could take any one of these now, <laughs> yeah. take them home with you. I want that one down the front amazing. there, the one that's got something in its mouth. Yeah. That's the winner. <laughs> right then, um, thank you very much indeed.